Uh, let's discuss uh, 12.6 gradients, tangents, and normals. Um, we'll discuss with the example. This is nothing special, but just to summarize everything. Assume that uh, we have a curve x square minus 3x square plus 2x minus 1. Right? Okay, I'll draw a curve like this. And uh, I will consider a point on 3, 5. And I want to find the equation. So this is the tangent line. Tangent uh, at uh, 3, 5 point. Tangent at 3, 5 point. Now, how do we find the uh, equation of uh, tangent line? Okay. We know that we have one point on this line that is 3, 5. Because 3, 5 point also on this line. So now what we need is gradient. If we know the gradient, we can find the equation of the line. So we can find the gradient by doing this. dy over dx of this curve 2x minus 6x so this is x cube yeah, x cube 2x square 3x square minus 6x plus 2 now at x equal 3 because there are no y, x equal 3 dy over dx. You can write like this as well, x equal 3. 3 times x mean 3 again. 6 times 3 plus 2. This is going to be 3 times 9, 18 plus 2. 27 minus 18 plus 2, 9 plus 2, so 11. So dy by dx at x equal 3, 11. Now you know, now you know the gradient of the curve at this point is equal to the gradient of this tangent line. So, hence, the gradient of this one is 11. The so gradient of the curve at this point is equal to the gradient of the uh, tangent line. So, we found out the gradient. So, gradient is 11. So, if I take this is m is 11. So, I will write so the gradient is now 11. Now you don't need anything. Now we need the equation. How do you find the equation of a line? y minus y1 m times x minus x1. So y minus y1 5 m is 11 x minus x1 is 3. y is a standard point y and x1 is a special point. So y minus 5 equal 11x 33, y equal 11x plus 5 minus 33. So y equal 11x uh, minus 28. Let's consider another point in this line. So this is minus 1, minus 7. Now, I do a tangent to this point. I want to find the equation of this line. So, I know dy by dx. 3 times 
minus 1 square. So I am going to find the gradient of the tangent line. We know that we when we find the gradient to the curve at this point that is equal to the gradient of the tangent to that point. So 3 minus square minus 6 minus 1 plus 2. So this is going to be 3 plus 6 plus 2. So this is going to be It's a positive value. It's 11. This is the cubic equation. Then this drawing is wrong because it has the same gradient. What happened if they have the same gradients? That they should be parallel. Both, uh, for example, this one may be like this. This curve and uh, the one. The point I pick up is somewhere here. When I draw this one, those two are parallel. That's a special location. That's fine. I'll, I'll leave this one for a while. And uh, now we have the curve. Assume now I want to find the normal. So those are normal. But I need normal, uh, normal mean the 90 degrees line to this line, not, not those points. I want the normal to here, going to this point. So this is 90 degrees. So you don't need curve now. You have one uh, curve with this one. This is y equal 11 x minus 28 and you have perpendicular uh, line that is the normal and this point is 3 5 now you want to find the equation of the normal how do you find the equation of the normal if you know gradient then you can find the equation how can you find gradient? Because now you know the perpendicular gradient. This gradient is 11. Assume this gradient is M. Then what is the rule? The rule is when you multiply by those gradient, the answer has to be equal to 1. So then M equal minus 1 over 11. So gradient of this one is minus 1 over 11. Then you can write the equation of the normal. So y minus uh, y1 that is 5 equal minus 1 over 11 gradient m times x minus x1, 3. So this is the uh, equation of the normal. If, there, if I do extension to this some sometimes they may give this point let's say minus 30 and something and when you draw this one you can find the tangent line same as this because dy by dx you know and when you put x equal minus 3 you can get the tangent line and it's going to minus 30 and this point you can find the y value when you put minus 30 to here and you know two equations then you can find the intersection point same as this is a normal you can draw a normal and you can find the intersection point of the normal so those are the extension for these sums but this is all you know that there is nothing you didn't learn uh, special because you know how to write a equation of a line and then you know how to find the perpendicular gradient and uh, you know already with the last uh, exercise that uh, the gradient of the tangent is when you get dy by dx 
any point of this curve and if you want a particular point then you want to substitute that particular x value then you will get the radian that's all just summarize everything together you didn't learn anything new